Hundreds of teenagers from high schools across the state gathered today to discuss how to create a safe learning environment. This is the 30th year for the Colorado Youth Diversity Conference, and Marissa Armas reports on the goals. Obviously, we are the future. At the end of the day, the world is going to be in our hands um, in a couple of years. Etsu Worku is one of over 800 students participating in this year's Colorado Youth Diversity Conference. It's just a way for us to meet other people, talk about the problems we see in our communities and how to be a part of the solution. She and the students here are discussing a myriad of issues, including human trafficking, racism and suicide prevention. She says these issues are greatly impacting her generation. My school has personally dealt with two suicides this past year, so um, just having to deal with that um, as a community and having to grieve, but also having to move forward at, at the same time is really hard to navigate. Um, and and often we students feel like our administration is not doing enough to help us as we are grieving. The 30-year-old conference brings together students from several different school districts in Colorado, providing them a safe open space with students leading the conversations. It seems like that uh, uh, young people are kind of disregarded and to say, well, they're just kids. They, they don't know what they need and they know they know what they need. Students having tough talks with their peers, hoping to make it a better community for all. Realizing that we have more in common than, we, than we're different. I just want people to have hope for the future. In Greenwood Village, Marissa Armas, covering Colorado First.